We are looking at the mathematics paper one again. Um, we are on point. I was asking the question, the product of the first three prime numbers is what? What do you think? What is the answer? So, isn't it five? Okay, can you list prime numbers? What is the smallest prime number? So, two. After two is what? Three. After three is what? Uh, five. So the product of the first three prime numbers. One, two, three. What is the product? Um, the numbers. Yes, my dear. All right, my dear. What is the product? Um, 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 I'm told. Okay, think about the question, um, and I'm coming now. Okay, thank you, my dear. Think about it, Lindsay. So isn't the product the number itself? Please come again. Isn't the product the number itself? Okay, <laughs> product is the result after multiplication, is the result after multiplication. So which means you need to multiply two times three times five. What is two times three? Six. What is six by five? 30. So the answer is what? The answer is 30. So we're looking for the product of the phase three prime numbers and clearly the answer is 30. What is the product of the first two prime numbers, um, Lindsay? The product of the first two prime numbers is six. It is six. So you'd say the product of the first two prime numbers is two by three, which is six. What is the fifth prime number? The fifth prime number. What is the fifth prime number? Prime number number five in the set. Okay. Uh, two, three, five, seven, is it 11? Five, seven. Well done. If the prime number is equal to what? 11. Okay, let's look at 1.2. The current temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius. If increased by 12, it would be what? What do you think? So negative 22. How do you increase the temperature by 12? So you add two. Uh-huh. 12. Is it negative 22? How would you do it? What are the steps? I mean, if they say the current temperature is minus 10 and you increase by 12, how do you increase it by 12? How? So you uh, add uh, so must negative times positive equals negative. So negative 10 plus 12 equals negative 22. It's going to be negative 10. Then if it's increased by 12, it means you add 12, right? Yes, so what is the answer to minus 10 plus 12? Negative 22. Okay, because the two numbers have the opposite signs, which number is bigger, 12 or 10? 12. Please come again. 12. 
12. So your answer will be positive. Then you say 12 minus 10. What is 12 minus 10? 2. It is plus 2. So the answer is what? 2. Right, so the answer is exactly B, two degrees Celsius. Two degrees Celsius. So we could say if the current temperature, I'm changing the question. If the current temperature is minus 25 degrees Celsius, if increased by 15 degrees Celsius, it would be what? What's the answer? So negative 25 increased by 15? Yes. Uh, would it be um, negative 10? How do you do it? You're going to say negative so, 25 is increased by 15. If it's increased by 15, what do you get? So you get 30, I mean. Which number is 40, bigger here than the other? 25. So the, is, it, is 25 negative or positive? Negative. So the answer would be negative. This answer takes the sign of the bigger number. The answer takes the sign of the bigger number. And from the bigger number, you subtract the smaller number. What is 25 minus 15? So, what is 25 minus 15? 10. 10. Negative 10. So the answer becomes negative 10. The answer becomes what? Negative 10. Negative 10. Okay, I change again and I say, if the current temperature is minus 50 degrees, instead of increased, we put decreased. And it's decreased by five degrees. Hello? Yes, please. Please come again. Okay, just, yeah, just a minute. Right, so you have minus 50 degrees Celsius. Minus 50 degrees Celsius is decreased by five. Minus 50 degrees Celsius is decreased by five. What would the answer be, Lindsay? It's uh, uh, 50 degrees minus, minus 50 degrees Celsius 50 degree is decreased um, okay, by uh, 5. Uh, yeah. Is decreased by 5? Yes. Yes, please. Isn't it 50 naked? What do you think? So isn't it negative 55? Please come again. Negative 55. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, what do you think the answer is, Lindsay? So isn't it negative 55? It's negative 55. 
would be minus 55. Decreased by this is going to be minus 55 degrees Celsius. And we say now the temperature is it's hot today. So the temperature is, yes, please. Okay. Right. So I'm coming now. Let's see. Just one minute. Right, so the temperature is forty-three degrees Celsius and is decreased by seven degrees Celsius. What would the temperature be? So where would it be the temperature? Wouldn't it be about thirty-six? This time again. Degrees. Would it not 36 be degrees? thirty-six degrees? Thirty-six degrees. Yes, thirty-six degrees Celsius. Okay, you sort of get the drift. Next question. One point three seven squared minus the square root of eighty-one divided by the cube root of one twenty-five. What is the answer? What is the answer? Uh, I think uh, uh, seven. Okay, so seven squared is 20, 49 minus nine. Minus nine is 40 divided by squared. What's the, what's the cube root of 120? divided by five. 10, five, 10 15, 20, 25, So is it eight? What is the answer? Eight. Tell me when you're done, Lindsay. So is the answer eight? Let's check. Right, so what is seven squared, Lindsay? 49. What is the square root of 81? Uh, nine. Please come again. Nine. Well done, nine. And then you divide by, what is the cube root of 125? Five. Well done. It is five. What is 49 minus nine? 40. This come again? It's 40. 40. 40 divided by five. What is 40 divided by five? Eight. What is 40 divided by five? Eight. It is what? Eight. So the correct answer is B. Correct answer is what? Is B. B. The highest common factor of 40 and 60 is what? Thank 
have for the day. You done, Lindsay? No, sir. Okay. So is it um so is it five? <laughs> Let's check today, Valin see. So you need to take forty and break down into the prime factors. What are the prime factors of forty? Mm, so you take forty. What you divided by two is what? Yeah. Is 20. 20. 20 divided by two is what? Is 10. 10. Divided by two is what? Is five. Yeah. Divided by five is what? Is one. So which means 40 is the same as two times two times two times five. Two times two is four times two is eight. It's like eight by five is 40. And then you have 60. 60 also, you need to get the prime factors of 60. So you have 60 divided by two. What is 60 divided by two? It is 30. 30 divided by two? 15. It's 15. Okay. Can I do it properly here? You have 60. You divide 60 by 2, what do you get? You get 30. You divide 30 by 30. 2, what do you get? 15. 15. You divide 15 by 3. What do you get? You get a five. Five. You divide five by itself, what do you get? You get one. a one. And that means the prime factors of 60 will become this one. It's two by two. It's gonna be two by two by three by five. Two by two is what? Is four. Three by five is fifteen. Four by fifteen is sixty. So, which means the highest common factor is what? So, to get the highest common factor, what you do is you look at what is common. How many twos are common here? So, this one is three of them. So, two of the twos are common, right? Because two, two. And then five. So, the highest common factor... Common are the two twos, two by two, and then five is also common. And then what is this? Two by two is what? By five. Four. By five. Twenty. 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 So what is the answer? It is C. The highest common factor of 40 and 60 is what? Is 20. What is the highest common factor of 6 and 12? HCF of 6 and 12. What do you think, Lindsay? Let me know when you're done. Please let me know when you're done. Okay. Um, is it 
it's gonna is it six yes it is six well done how did you get six Lindsay? uh so i just divided the numbers over and over until i reached one and then the highest number that is the same is that's correct the highest common factor is six um, yeah yes question 1.5. The simplified form of the ratio 28 to 14 to 49 is what? Are you able to see 1.5? Yes, sir. The simplified form of the ratio 28 to 14 to 49 is what? Which one is the answer? Uh... Please let me know when you're done. Let's see if it's 28. Okay. Uh... You done, Lindsay? No, sir. Okay. So, uh, is it seven two seven? Okay, so obviously you can see that the number seven is what divides all these. So if you divide 49 by seven, divide this one by seven, divide that by seven. What is 49 divided by seven? Seven. 14 divided by seven? Two. 28 divided by seven? Uh, four. So which one is the answer? So 427. It's 427 and it is C. If we change this one and say the simplified form of the ratio 3 to 6 to 9, what's the answer? So is it one, three, three? Please come again. One, three, three. Obviously, we're going to take the number, the ratio, three, six, nine. Divide by three. You can divide by three. One. What is six divided by three? So it is one, two, three. three. One, two. Three. 1.6. A vehicle travels at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. How long will it take to travel 660 kilometers? What's the answer? Let's see. So six hours. How do you know? So um, it, it says uh, we, we travel at a constant speed of 110 kilometers an hour. So we need to multiply it by six to get 660. Okay. Which is six hours. It's six hours. Well done. Very well done there. It's six hours, D. So obviously mm. you take into account a couple of things that If you use this triangle, speed is distance over time. Speed over is what? Time. Speed is distance over time. time. So if you say how long will it take, you need time. So time is T and time is the same as is, what? Uh, 
time is the um, same as dis distance, distance of uh, speed. Speed. So the distance is 660. The speed is 110. And if you divide, it is six hours. And the answer is D. All together. Next question, 1.7. Use board mass to solve this. 35 minus 5 by 12 divided by 4. What's the answer? Um, Lindsay? What's the answer? Um, so calculating... Uh, is the answer uh, is it ninety? Uh, it is check. What does Port Mazuro? What are you gonna do first then one point seven? We, we first say 35 minus 5 gives us But what 30. do we do first? We do brackets. Are there brackets? Brackets. No, there are no brackets. Okay, then you do division. Is there division? Yes, sir. Then you must do division first. After division, you do what? You must do multiplication. So in other words, you're going to leave everything. 35 minus this. You do division first. What is 12 divided by 4? Twelve divided by four is like three. Okay. It's three. What is five by three? Three is fifteen. What is thirty-five minus fifteen? Twenty. So the correct answer is 20. Okay, 1.8, try 1.8 and give the answer, please. Try 1.8 and give the answer, please. So 59, so there's a 59. Okay, let's check, let's check. How did you get 59, Lindsay? So 6x minus four, uh, and, and if x is three, that means it's 63 minus four. All right, <laughs> my goodness, it's human error. Six x, 6x in mathematics means six times x. 6x means what? Six, six times. times x. So if x is three, then in place of x, you put three minus four. What is six times three? Eight, um, 18. 18? What is 18 minus four? So 14. It's 14. So the answer is which one? 14. Let's change this one and say solve. If you have 5x minus 7, if x is 10, what do you think the answer is? Uh, Let me know when you're done. Okay. Uh... Ready? Still, oh, let's see. Uh... So, 
So 43. 43, well done. Because if x is 10, then you're going to do 5x minus 7, which is 5 by 10 minus 7, which is 50 minus 7. What is 50 minus 7? It is 43. Three. Next, let's look at question two. Okay, question two is about whole numbers of paper one that you're going to write tomorrow. So let's look at the whole numbers. Calculate the following. Let's deal with the whole numbers. Okay, let's do number 2.1a. Or just 2.1, this one. And let me know of the answer. So there's the answer is nine million eight hundred and thirty seven thousand five hundred and fifty four. Let us check quickly. Let us check quickly. So to do this question, you need to add them up. So you take 259098. You add with that one. Then write them the other way around. Because this one is more digits. Four, five, six, then you have Two five nine zero nine eight. What is eight plus six? You bring down four, then you Sorry. carry one. This is going to be exactly Sorry. fifteen. You bring down five, then you carry one. Four plus one is five. Nine and eight is seventeen. You bring down seven, then you carry one. This is 6 plus 7, which is 13. You bring down 3. Then you carry 1. This is exactly 8. And then 9. So what is the answer? Nine million. Nine eight three seven five five four. Okay, so that is the answer. B, what do you think the answer is to B? <sighs> what do you think the answer is to B? Please let me know when you're done. So is the answer 26,955. How did you get it, uh, um, Lindsay? Uh, so I put 109,000 on the top and then 82,000 on the bottom. So now it's 2,000 on the bottom. You put which one at the bottom? It's 2,269. Okay. And then right, we so say, then, yeah. Again, then we say four minus six. We we can't add it, so we take yeah. So Eighty-two, can, three, six, nine. Uh, Obviously, the first thing is to we need to do is to is to say nine minus four. But we can see that. We can't subtract that way because it's yielding a negative number. So we need to borrow one from the two. And then we have 14 minus nine. What is 14 minus nine? 
14 minus 9. Okay, let's, let's just check this quickly. What answer did you get again, Lindsay? 35. Okay, just one minute. Uh, I got 226. All right, I'm just checking. I'm just checking um, to make sure that everything is okay. 82369. Right, um, like I said, so you need to borrow one, Getting making this a 14, and 14 minus 9 is what? 5. It's a 5. Okay, we borrowed here, so we have a 1 here. So, But we can't say 1 minus 6, because it's going to bring a negative number, so we must borrow 1, making it 11. 11 minus 6 is what? 5. 5. Right, and then now you borrowed a one here, you have a two. And then now obviously you see there's an issue because now you need to borrow again because you can't say, you can't say one minus, you can't say two minus three. So you need to borrow here a one making this eight so that you have a 12. You have a 12 minus three, what is 12 minus three? The nine. Okay, you borrowed the, the one here. This made it this eight. What is eight minus two? Six. Right. So you have exactly this. You have exactly this. Now you have exactly 10 minus two. What is, because now you need to say zero minus eight, but you can't. So you must borrow one. If you borrow one, then it becomes 10. 10 minus eight is what? It's two. That is the answer because after I borrowed the left with a zero. Right, so the answer is two, six, nine, double five. Okay, okay, let's do this one here. Two, eight, nine, two times eight, nine, five. And tell me the answer, please, when you're done. What's the answer? Uh, says it's two million uh, five hundred eighty. A thousand three hundred and uh three hundred and forty. Okay, let's check that one. So you shall have two eight nine two eight nine five few times. What is five times two? Ten. Five times two is ten. And then now that is two eight nine two. You multiply by eight nine five. Okay, I want to test against your answer. What answer did you get, Lindsay? So I got two million five hundred eighty eight thousand two hundred forty. That's the correct answer. Let me not waste your time there. And fought zero. Okay, let's deal with some exponents. 2.2, .2. simplify the following. What is the square root of 121 times three plus five squared? What is the answer? Is it 29? Okay, let's check. It is not 29. 
What is the square root of 121? 11. Well done, 11. What is five squared, Linsui? It's 25. Bodmas says we must start with multiplication. Bodmas. What is 11 times three? So 33. So what is the answer? The answer is 58. Right, let's look at this one here. Try B and give the answer, please. You're still thinking, Lindsay? Yes, sir. Okay. So the answer 121. Okay, let's check. What is the cube root of 216? 72. Okay. You need to check that one. Can you check the cube root? Your cube root is you having a mistake. The cube root of 216. Isn't it? Uh, it is six. Um, what is nine minus two? Is seven. Oh. What is seven squared? So the answer is what? 55. The answer is 55. The next thing we shall look at now are integers. Integers. Calculate this here. Okay. A minus 3 plus 6 is what? Two plus six. Oh, um. What do you think? What do you think is the answer? So is it negative nine? We said that you need to choose the sign of the bigger number. What number is bigger there? Six. So it means the answer is positive. Then, from the bigger number, you subtract the smaller number. From the bigger number, you subtract the smaller number. What is 6 minus 3, Lindsay? 3. Please come again. 3. It's 3, so the answer is 3. B, what's the answer to B? Says it uh, uh wait, wait. Um what do you think the answer is to B Lindsay? Says it says it one. 
Please come again. One. What is negative times negative, Lindsay? Positive. Positive. So you have nine plus eight. What is nine plus eight, Lindsay? Seventeen. Seventeen, and that is the answer. What is the answer to C? Says it negative 15. Negative 15. Correct. What is the answer to D? Okay. Uh. Says it one. Let's check. So you have minus seven. Negative times negative is positive. Four positive. times two is what? Is eight. eight. So these two numbers have opposite sides. You take the sign of the bigger number, which is positive. From the bigger number, you subtract the smaller number. What is eight minus seven? One. One. So the answer is one. Next question. Jack and Paul and Shakir each take three tablets per day when they are sick. How many pills would they take all together if they are sick for four days? What, what is the answer? Says so the answer 12. How did you get 12, Lindsay? Uh, how do I explain? Uh, like I do. Are you able to see 17. the question? Yes, sir. Okay. So they take three tablets per day. So, so it, that means you have to multiply three times four to. We get the answer. Uh huh. So, what's the answer? How many people are we talking about here? So, two. Uh, sir. What is sir? the answer? Uh, 24. Please come again. 24. Right, so obviously the answer is going to be we are dealing with one, two, three people. We're dealing with Jack and Paul and Shakir. Each take three tablets when they're sick. How many pills did they take all together if they're sick for four days? Wait, is it... Uh... So there are three people, and each one takes three tablets, but for four days. So the answer is 36. The answer is what? 36. 36. Because three times three is nine by four is 36. Because it's Jack, Paul, and Shakir. Take tablets per day when they are sick. They take three tablets. 
there are three people. So you have three tablets, there are three people, and the days are four. So it's three times three by four. Okay. Yes. Think about it. There are many ways to do it. If you want, you can tabulate and say there is Jack, there is Paul, and there is Shakir. So, Jack and Paul and Shakir each take three tablets per day when they are sick. How many pills will they take all together if they are sick for four days? So there is day one. Okay, so day one for four days when they are sick. So Jack for four days per day. So in other words, what is going to happen here is the following. This one, day one is going to take three. Day two, three. Day three, three. And day four, three pills. And Paul, day one is going to take three. Day two is going to take three. Day three is going to take three. Day four is going to take three. Shakir is going to take three. Day one is going to take three. Day two is going to take three, three. So this in the end is three, six, nine, twelve. So which is twelve, twelve, twelve. And twelve plus twelve plus twelve is what? Thirty-six. So there are four days. And day one, they take three. Jack takes three, day two, take Jack takes three, and so on. Do you see that? Yes, sir. Okay, let's look at 2.5. 26 people want to build a greenhouse for their community that costs 91,234 rand. They all share the costs equally. How much will each pay? What do you think is the answer? Or what do you think the answer is? What do you think the answer is? Okay, what's the answer, Lindsay? Says the answer, 3,000. Uh, wait, um, yeah, 3,509. How did you get it, Lindsay? So you had to divide. That's correct. So if you take yeah. nine, one, Two, three, four, you divide by 26. What is the answer? 3,509. So each one is going to pay 3,510. Nine. Okay. Next, Mount Everest is 8,848 meters high, and the highest point in Africa is Lake Asal in Djibouti, which is 157 meters above sea level. 
what is the total distance between the top of Mount Everest and the lowest point at Lake Asal? The answer? Uh, says so 8,691. How did you get it, Lindsay? So we had to minus the height of Mount Everest uh, um, with, the, with the depth of with the sea level or in with with the where to minus eight thousand eight hundred forty eight minus one hundred fifty seven. Okay. Because this one fifty seven is below sea level. And this one is height. So, which means X is going to be 8,848 minus, minus 157. What's the answer? Is 8,848 plus 157. The answer is 9,005. Meters. Because this one is below, like this. So you want to get the distance from here to there. So it's this one minus into minus this. So the answer is that. Okay. Next question, let's look at fractions, decimals, and percentages. Change 7 and 5 out of 8 to an improper fraction. What sounds? Okay, let me know when you're done. You done, Lindsay? Mm, no, sir. Okay. Um, says it seven. I mean, is it a uh, five over one? Okay. Right, change this one to an improper fraction. Seven by eight. What is seven times eight? Uh, seven times eight. Seven times eight. Uh, Six. This time again. Fifty-six plus five. 
What is 56 plus 5? 56 plus 5 is 61. So the answer is 61 out of 8. Convert 0, 0.680 to a common fraction. Okay, now let's do some, uh, this one. So let's change this one now. Change 3 and 2 over 5 to improper. So 15 over 5. How did you get 15 over 5, Lindsay? So let's multiply the whole number 3 times 5 plus 2 gives you 15 over 5. Please come again. So you have to multiply the number 3 times 5, which gives you 15. Plus two. Plus two. Wait. Uh, plus two gives you. Yes, it gives you seventeen. Over. You seventeen, and then five. and then the answer becomes seventeen out of five. Five. Okay, convert seven and one out of three. Get an improper fraction. So 22 over 3. Yeah, it is 22 over 3. Over 3, well done. Right, convert 0, 0.68 to a common fraction in its simplest form. What's the answer to 0, 0.68 to a common fraction? So you don't see it to a common fraction. Uh... Mm -hmm. What's the answer? And... What's the answer? Um, see this Please let me know when you're done. Okay. Um, So is it six over eight? How did you do it? Uh, how did you get the answer, Lindsay? Six over eight. Okay, let me know when you're done, please.
Far. Uh, sir, to... wait, is it no? Is the answer one over six? Or six How did you get it, Lindsay? Uh, sir, yeah, isn't it? Don't need to put it into a percent. First, then we put it into a fraction. Okay, let's just take a look. Right, because this one is actually having, having how many digits after the comma? Two. So we must take 0, 0,68, multiply that by half. Because you must move the decimal place, the decimal point, two places to the right. One, two. So that if not right by 100, it's going to be moved two places, which is 68 divided by 100. And therefore, in the end, what you're getting is that you divide them everything. So if you divide the, you simplify this, okay, in its simplest form. So if you simplify this, what is 100 divided by 4? It's 25. And the top becomes like 17. So that's the answer. Seventeen out of twenty-five. Okay, if you look at three point three, which one of the fractions is closest to three? Which one, Lindsay? So is it three and two over three? Why? Wait, no, sir. Is it is it two and three over four? Because it's three quarters. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and see. Obviously, the way to do this question, you have to make sure that because this one has denominator 12, you need to make sure that each one is denominator 12 on the side. So you'll have to write 2. If you multiply, 5 by 2 is what? It's 10 out of 10. 12. 3. 2 by 2 is what? It's 4 out of... Okay, you multiply by 4. 4 by 2 is 8. So it's gonna be eight out of twelve. You multiply by four or four because you want the you want the three to be twelve. You want you want this one the four to be twelve. What number do you multiply? Can you multiply four with so it becomes twelve? Right. Three. Okay, three point three. three is nine out of twelve. Three and seven out of twelve. So now these numbers, you can compare them very well because they both they all have denominator 12. So, 
Which one is closest to three? This one is seven out of 12. This one has nine out of 12. Eight out of 12. Now, 10 out of 12 is the biggest of the fractional part of the number. 10 is bigger than eight, is bigger than nine, is bigger than seven, because they are all to the domain of 12. So 10 is the biggest. And therefore, if you are to look for the number closest to three, Hey, look at it. So the answer is two and five out of six. Two and five out of six. is closest to three. Okay. And because the two and five out of six is the same as two and 10 out of 12. Next, simplify five and 42 out of 16. What's the simplified answer, Lindsay? Um, so is it 21 over eight. Let's check. How do you know? So we had to divide it by two. That's correct. So it's going to be five. five and 21 out of eight, but you're not done yet. Because 8 goes into 21. How many times? 5. It goes 2 times. The yeah. remainder, you divide 16 and the remainder is 5 out of 8. What is 5 plus 2? 7. That is the answer. So the answer is seven and five out of eight. Okay, 3.5, what's the answer? What is five over eight of 64 kilograms? So is it 40? Please come again. 40. Okay, let's check. I need to check this. 40, well done. So is that by 64? Eight goes how many times into 64? It goes eight times. Five by eight is what? It's 40 kilograms. So the answer is 40 kilograms. Next question. Calculate this one and give the answer, please. Let me know when you're done. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, 
is it uh, 378,184? Well done. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time there. It is exactly 378,184. Right, you write there B, what do you think the answer is? So is it three thousand sixty five comma three six four? Let's check. You got three thousand sixty five comma three six four. Yes, that's correct. Comma three six four. I'm not gonna waste a lot of your time with this. Next. C part. Okay. What is the answer to C? Can you try C, please? So sixty four comma three. Well, then it is exactly sixty four comma three. Okay, what do you think the answer is to D? Okay, I'll uh, see. Okay, so let me know when you're done. Okay, uh, Hey. So is it a five and thirteen over two? Let's check. Okay, you close. But now um this one here is you need to do it as follows. So you need to split the numbers up. But also, you need to ensure that um, the denominator is the same. The denominator is 8 here. You must make this one 8 as well. How do you do that? So you need to keep the first one as it is because 8 is the biggest. And then now you have 4. So you'd have 3 out of 4. And then you can multiply by 2 out of 2. Right. And then what you're getting is 1 and 7 out of 8 plus. And then this is 4, which is... 3 by 2 is 6 out of 8. What is 1 plus 4? It's 5. 5. 7 plus 6? 13.
13 out of 8? So this is not the answer. Because 8 goes into 13. How many times? Uh, let's see. One. It goes once. once. And then remainder? Um, five. Five plus one is what? Six. Is that what you got? Uh, okay, no, yeah, but think about think about it along those lines. Think about it. I mean, it has to be pretty much this, okay? So, yeah, it has to be pretty much this. So, no train smash there, and so we're good. We are good. Okay, obviously, we're recording this discussion, so you have access to this discussion for you to... for you to be good. Next question. Okay, try the next one. Try E, please, and give me the answer. Try E, please. Okay, you remove the thing that I've put in the block. Okay. Okay, I'll remove that thing I've put in the block there. So is it seven and fifteen over nineteen? I mean nineteen over fifteen. Please come again. So is it seven and nineteen over fifteen? Okay, let's check. First things first, you must have three. This one is five, and this one is six. You must make the the same. So how how can you make these two the same? So we multiply the denominator of the left side with the... Multiply by six. So this one, you want to, you want to make 630. You multiply by five. The LCD of five and six is 30. The LCM is 30. So... Three by six is 18. Three by five is 30. 4 by 5 is 20. This is 30. Then you have the following. So this is 3 plus... This is exactly 3 plus 18 out of 30. And it is minus 1 minus 20 out of 30. What is 3 minus 1? Okay, remember that you put minus, minus here. 30 minus 1 is what? 29. Rather, 3 minus 1. 2. Right. And then you have this. These ones have 30, 30 at the bottom. So you must just say 
18 and 20. What is 18 minus 20? So negative two. So in other words, it becomes negative two out of 30. So what is the answer to this? So here you must make it over one. You must make it over one. So now to get the answer like that. We continue. So you put 30 here. Remove this thing here. You put 30 in the 30 is the LCD, 30 divided by one is 30 times two. 60 minus 30 divided by 30 is one by two minus two. What is 60 divided minus two? It's 58. 58 out of 30. So 30 goes many times into 58. Once. It goes once. Remainder what? Two. Remainder 28. Oh. Out of 30. Divide 28 and 30. What do you get? Simplify uh, 28 out of 30. Um, it says it's 14 over 15. 14 out of 15. So four over three, four over six. I'm just checking. Yeah, that is the answer. One and 14 out of 15. Next. Okay, let's check. Do F, please, and give the answer. Okay, I must indicate that there are a couple of ways of solving these. Like this one here, you can say x is 3 and 3 out of 5 minus 1 and 4 out of 6. So you can say 3 by 5. What is 3 by 5? 15. Plus 3? Uh, 18. 18 out of 5. So you can change like that. And then here we have 1 by 6. What is 1 by 6? 6. Plus four. Then you look Eight. for the lowest common denominator. Yeah, lowest common, which is which is like six by five, and six by five is what is thirty. Right. So if you want, you can just write thirty here. So here you can just write like thirty. So 30 divided by 5 is what? 6. 6, yeah. Then you're going to see you have 6 by 18. Minus 30 divided by 6 is 5. Then you're going to have 5 by 10. And then you do everything here. When you do everything here, it's going to become 60 by 6 by 18 minus 5 by, by 10 is going to become 58. 58 out of 30. And now we have worked out 58 out of 30. What is 58 out of 30? Uh, uh, it is. Wait. 
58 out of 30? Yes. Is that 58 times 30 or? It's 58 yeah. divided by 30. We did that 58 oh. divided by 30. So you, if it's you get one. 6 by 18 minus 5 by 10, you get 58. Check that. 6 by 18. 6 by 18 minus 5 by 10. It's 58, okay? Yeah, we got that. Okay, do F, please. Do F, please. Using the so, same method like I've done here. So you say this 1 by 8 plus 7. You change this one to a an improper fraction. You also change this one to improper fraction and then continue. Okay. Yes, sir. And then give me the answer to F. So is it 2 and 105 over 56? Okay, let's check. Nope. Try again, please. But I want you to convert. Okay, what is 1 and 7 out of 8 as an improper fraction? What's the answer? 1 and 7 out of 8, please convert it to, to an improper fraction. What's the answer? Into a proper fraction? Yes. Uh. What's the answer? So is it seven over eight or yeah. Yeah, one and seven over eight. One and seven over eight. Change it to an improper fraction. What's the answer? Don't change everything. Just one and seven over eight. Change it to an improper fraction. Yes, what's the answer? One and seven over eight is an improper fraction. What's the answer? Um, three divided by that times. No, 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 no. Uh, Says it. Um, yeah. Say what? Um, is it? Is it you? Uh... One and seven over eight. What is it? Change it to an improper fraction. Uh, 
Uh, uh, so I'm kind of struggling a bit. Yeah, you understand the question? I'm saying change one and seven over eight to an improper fraction. So you must say one times eight plus seven. One times eight plus seven. What is one times eight? Eight. Plus seven? Uh, 15. Two by 12. Uh, 24. Plus eight. Is thirty is thirty two. That's it. Simplify this. Eight goes how many times into thirty two? Three goes how many times into twelve? Three, Three goes how many times um, here? Four. So this is uh, five plus four by four over three. What is 5 by 4? 20. Okay, what is 20 over 3? Three? 3 goes how many times into 20? It goes 6 times because divide 18 remainder 2 out of 3. What is 45% of 240? What is 45% of 240? You done? Yes, uh, uh, two forty. Says one hundred and ten. Let's check. Okay, I'm still here. So this forty five percent, it means that you're going to say forty five over hundred times two forty. Okay. What answer did you get? So one hundred and ten. One zero eight. Oh. Is one zero eight. eight. Is one zero eight. One zero eight. Okay. So look at that very carefully and and get to think about it.
Right, I want you to check F again. Um, okay. Um, okay. I want you to check F again. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I was saying um, we divided here by if you divide twelve by three, you get four. If you divide fifteen by three, you get five four here, so the answer becomes four divides four, and then you're left with only five. So the answer is only five. So the answer is only five. The answer is only five. So check that part, the answer is only the number five, five there. Because 12, if you divide by three, you get four. But 15 divided by three, you get five, and the answer is five, okay? Yes, sir. Next question. H&M is having a winter sale. All items are sold at 25% discount. Calculate what you'll pay for a pair of jeans that originally costs um, 460 rand. What's the answer? Says it one hundred and fifteen. Let's check. How did you get it? Uh, so I did twenty five for a hundred times four hundred. That is a discount. So but... is there a this? Wait, is it? Uh oh uh, oh it's four sixty minus one. Because if if you are given a discount, if you not if you want to buy something and and if you want to buy something for hundred rand and somebody gives you a twenty rand discount, how much do you pay? You pay eighty. Yes, so that is the kind of thing. So how much do you pay here? Because the discount is twenty five percent discount, but it doesn't mean you're gonna pay twenty five percent. But it's twenty five percent discount, like. So, if you need to buy yeah. something for 100 rand and somebody says, I'm giving you 20 rand discount, so you pay like the difference. So we pay the 345 rand. Let's check. Well done. So you would take the 460 minus the 25%. Of 460. So you 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 subtract the discount. Which is 25 out of 100 times 460. What is 25 out of 100 times 460? Twenty-five times one hundred. Yeah, the answer is one fifteen minus one fifteen. You get three four five. So for the discount, you just subtract the discounted amount. You minus the what? The discounted the discounted what? Discounted amount. You amount. minus it. Okay. Next. 
Peter paid 120 rand for a soccer ball that originally cost how much? 150. Percentage. So is the original price twenty uh, percent? Uh, Let's check. How did you get it, Lindsay? Um, what I did is I divided uh, what Peter paid for the ball uh, times 100, divided by 150 and times by 100, which gives us the percent. Then, uh, did you have to subtract it minus 100? Edge subject minus uh, hundred. Okay, Peter paid one hundred and twenty rand for a soccer ball that originally cost one hundred and fifty. What percentage of the original price did he pay? So it's one twenty. So twenty percent. Over 150. And then Peter paid 120 rand for a soccer ball that original costs. At what percentage of the original price did he pay? So he paid 120 out of 150 and then you multiply it by 100 percent. What's the answer? Okay, 10 divides here, and then you, might, you divide by 3. Divide by 3? Whatever, whatever. You need to simplify 12 out of 15. 12 out of 15 becomes what? Becomes 3 out of, okay, the R divides. So you have 3 out of 5. You have 4 out of 5, excuse Three divide twelve divided by three. So divide twelve by three, you get four out of five by one hundred. So now this one, if you do it, is zero comma eight times one hundred. What is zero comma eight times one hundred percent? It is eighty percent. So which means that Peter paid hundred and twenty for a soccer ball that originally cost hundred and fifty. So he paid 120 out of 150, paid 80%. He paid what? 80%. Next, with what percentage did the price of the soccer ball decrease? It decreased by 20%. It decreased by 20%. Well done. So in other words, you'd say 150 minus 120, which is 30 rand. Then you take 30 rand over 150 times 100 percent, and if you multiply this, it becomes exactly 20 percent. No matter what you do, that's 20 percent. Yeah. No, I know you can always get to this, yeah, but it's 20 percent. Let's look at the number patterns quickly. Complete the flow diagram by filling in the missing values input output. What is the answer here? Seven goes through the flow diagram. When it comes out on the other side, what's going to be the answer here? What's going to be the output? If the input is seven, what's going to be the output? So 39. How did you get it? Wait, wait. wait. Uh, so, so isn't the out input there... Uh, 3x, isn't it 37 plus 2? 
Yeah, that's what I said earlier. I said that if the x is seven, you multiply. Oh, multiply. So x is seven plus two. What is three by seven? Twenty-one. Plus two. What is twenty-one plus two? Twenty-three. So it must be twenty-three. Right. So okay, here the input is what. The output, the output is 47, but what is the input if it goes through this? So the answer must be 47. What must X be that you can put uh, here? See. Three times a certain number plus two is 47. What is that number? Okay, if you're not sure of that one, what you do is you take 30, uh, you take three X, 3x plus 2 is 40 what? It's 47, which means 3x is equal to 47 minus 2. 47 minus 2 is 40 what? 45. 3x, which is 45 out of 3. What's the answer? Fifteen. 45 divided by 2 is what? 15. 15. So the answer is 15, because if x is 15, put it here. What is 3 times 15? Uh, the 45. Plus 2? Two? 47. 47, that's the answer. Extend the following number sequences to the next two terms and describe the pattern. Okay, let's extend the following number sequences to the next two terms. 8, 14, 12, 20, um, 8, 14, 20, 26, then what? Uh, 32 and uh, 38. 32 and 38, well done. 1, 2, 4, 8, then what? Um, let's see. Please come again. Um, sixteen and sixteen and what? Thirty-two. Thirty-two, because you can see these are powers of two. Uh, um, so yeah, you raise to the power one, to the power two, to the power three, to the power four, to the power five. Next. Start the following pattern and answer the questions that follow. Like how many squares will... Okay, pattern one has one square. Pattern two has how many squares? Four squares. Pattern three has how many squares? Nine, Nine squares. Okay. How many squares will be there in part in far? Uh, so here, how many? How many squares will be there according to you in the fifth pattern? Fifth pattern, how many? Are you still with me, Lindsay? Yes, sir. Um, so this is two to the Two and this one is three to the two in this one. So twenty six. Please come again. Twenty six. How do you know? Okay, because you see, pattern two is gonna be two to the two. Pattern three is gonna be three to the two. Pattern four is just the pattern number squared. Pattern four is four squared. Pattern three is three squared. Pattern two is two squared. Pattern one is one squared. 
So pattern five is going to be what? 25. Pattern four, you say four squared. Pattern three, you say three squared. Pattern two, you say two squared. Pattern one, you say one squared. What is pattern five? So what about be 25? Yeah, so in other words, it's going to be five squared, which is 25. Right, determine the general rule of this pattern. What is the general rule of this pattern? Mm. Um. Uh. It's, all, it's, it's always the pattern number. Mm. So the general rule is just the pattern number squared. So it's going to be the number squared. It's the number squared. Two squared, three squared, four squared is the number squared. Okay. How many squares will the tenth pattern have? Show how you got your answer. The tenth pattern, how many squares will it have? So 100. Yeah, the tenth pattern, it's going to be, because it's the tenth pattern, it's going to be 10 squared. Ten, 10 times 10 is what? It's 100. 100. But I have 100 squares. Which pattern will have 140, 144 squares? So the 12th pattern. It's the 12th pattern, well done. It is the 12th pattern. Because you're going to say 12 squared, which is 144. Let's look at question five. Write the, these algebraic expressions in their shortest form. What is A? 5.1A. This one, what is it? Um, what? Uh, Please come uh, again. Uh, what is... Um, so we haven't done this type of work yet. You haven't done this type of stuff? No, sir. What is 2 times B? Um, like if somebody what he says, what is 2 times Y? 2 times Y is 2Y. 2 times B is 2B minus 4. The answer is 2B minus 4. Okay, so now let's look at 5.1. B. What is the answer here in B? Three M plus um when the three M divided by N. Yes, it's going to be M, 3 plus M over N. This one, A times 3 times 4 times B, what's the answer? A3 times 4B. Yes, 3 times 4, what is 3 times 4? 12. 12AB. 12 Write the following as algebraic expressions. The sum of P and double Q. What's the answer? So P plus Q. Please come again. P plus Q. The sum of P and double Q. How do you write it? It's an algebraic expression. So, wait, so P plus Q. P Please plus come again. QQ. P plus QQ. P plus 2Q. Subtract y from 2. So 
So y minus 2. Subtract y from 2 and multiply it by 6. What's the answer? So y minus 2. Subtract y from 2. Subtract y from 2 and multiply by what? By 6. So you can write it as 6 into 2 minus y if you want. Divide 9. Okay, divide 9 by q and add 14. What's the answer? Divide 9 by Q. 2 plus 14. And add 14. Solve these algebraic expressions by substitutions. Let X be equal to 4 and Y be equal to 3. So what's the answer? If x is 4, then in the place of x, you put 4 times y is what? Is 3. What is 4 times 3? 12. Do 5.3 now. Here. What is the answer? X is, um. x is 4. Over three times y. So four over nine. Four over what? Four over nine. And then now here you have five. Nine. Y is three. <laughs> y is what? Is three. So what's the answer here? So, uh, Eleven. Well done, 11. Solve the flow equations by inspection. What is the answer to 5.4a? Um, so is it e nine? Well done, nine. The next one? So, three, two minus. So, 20, uh, 13. 13, well done. The one after? Uh, so, is it six? How did you get six? What did you say? Did you uh, say six? Wait, no, uh, no, so is it four? How did you get four? Doesn't three go into 12 four times? Okay, it's not division. Oh. We have P times one. What is P times one? P. P times one. one is P. 12 times three is what? 36. It's 36. This is called co cross multiplication. This is called what? Cross multiplication. Right. What is the answer to D? What is the um, answer to D? Uh, publication, uh... Um, 
What is the answer, Lindsay? Um, struggling a bit. Uh, You done? Uh, no, sir. Um, I'm struggling a bit. <laughs> okay, to do this one, you need to say right, five p plus thirteen, and then you must minus thirteen from the left. You minus 13 because you want to remove 13. So you minus 13 from both sides. What is 38 minus 13? 25. Then you divide by 5, you divide by 5. What is 25 divided by 5? 5. The answer is 5. The answer is what? Is 5. 5. You get the point. Yes, sir. Last question. Okay, this was the end of the paper. Change to improper fraction. Okay, change to improper fraction. One in seven out of eight. What's the answer? So, uh, is it... Please come again. I see. This, um, is it... Done. Says so it's 15. Yes, uh, is it 15 over 8? Yes, it's well done. It is 15 out of 8. Okay, thanks so much for joining us, Lindsay. All the best for tomorrow. Okay. And you said paper two is when? Uh, the week after next week. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so it means that I will see you next week. I will see you coming the coming weekend. Okay. Yes, sir. Right, thanks. I'm going to send a video recording so that you can watch and check through this paper. This was a very good quality paper. So these questions, how you do them, when you watch the video, you need to have your book. Um, you watch the answer and then you close the answer and see if you can be able to do the question on your own. So you can use these as some practice questions. You stop the video, you pause the video when you're watching and you see if you can get the answer we got together, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna send a video recording in the next couple of minutes. Thanks, Lindsay, and goodbye to you. Bye, sir. Goodbye.